This blog has been brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace gives you everything you need to build a handsome website, plus the tools necessary to run your business successfully so your dad doesn't get mad at you and say, uh, go back to school. How bored are you at home right now? <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty happy chilling at home playing video games every day. That's a life. I got video games, I got food, I got toilet paper. I mean, you know what it is, man. We just been, um, you know, we've been home. Mostly doing push-ups. 89, 91, 92, 99. It's nothing! It's nothing! I ain't even gonna write that one down. That was just for you. Nah, man. He did 12 push-ups. We got the little push-up charts going, you know what I'm saying? We, we had a running push-up count going on. See my man over there, what? Well, you just didn't say that. You're not gonna write it down into the link count, but. Huh? No, I was just, I, I think, just, yeah, I think you No, no, I was just fixing the, yeah. the, um, the number that was there. You said it was fun. I'm over here with the big 866. I could have did it. I could have rounded up to 870. I could have. I chose not to. I'm gonna get back to that. So, um. Gonna come in handy. I can't tell you when, but you know when. Nah. Run. <laughs> that was strange. Listen, don't use your knee to turn off lights. <laughs> but how did they put it that low? Realistically, why is that that low? Like we're also like giants and shit, so. Huh. I got it. I got it. Oh. But I got, cause I got all this stuff, so. Hey! By the time I put on full angles, right? <laughs> and what? Keep that sandy on me! Yeah! For you pesky bacteria! Uh, 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 uh. Say hi to the people. Oh my god, no to me. Say it. No. You're not gonna say hi to the people? Hi people. So you know what time it is, man. I just dropped the packages off. Mission accomplished. It doesn't get much more exciting than than getting in your car and driving and then going somewhere and then dropping something off and then get back in your car and then go back home. That is entertainment. That's a vlog. This is the most exciting thing I've done all week. So I'm, my energy is through the roof. So I'm about to head back and lay on my back and look at the sky. Completely unrelated, but the other day was Easter. You know what I'm saying? I was on social media watching all the parents do all the Easter egg hunts for the kids and the kids were excited. You know what I'm saying? They hide the little chocolate eggs all around the house and the kids find it. Oh my God, thank you Easter Bunny. I'm down for all that. I'm down for all the cute stuff except for the last thing I said, which is the thank you Easter Bunny part. Cause he didn't do that. That was me. I'm down for, you know what I'm saying? Let my, my children have imagination and believe in the Easter Bunny, believe in Santa, believe in the Tooth Fairy. You can believe in them, but you also better believe they got nothing to do with the gifts I gave to you. Look, check this out. What, so what I got, what? Let's get this straight. So I got to wake up early. I got to do work. Then I got to go out and buy you a gift for Christmas, let's say. So I do all that, and then you open it after all that. And you say, thank you, Santa? Oh, me, Santa. Me. That was me. That guy had nothing to do. I don't even know where Santa's at. I don't know where Santa's at. That was me. That was me. The tooth fairy, go ahead and believe in it. But I'm the one that left you $5 under your pillow. And I'm the one that had to take your little dirty tooth and put it in a little box. Santa got nothing to do with that. Easter Bunny, I went out, I bought the chocolates. I stood up, I'm bending down and hiding the chocolates. My butt crack is up. It's a lot of work. You're not about to find these eggs and say, thank you, Easter Bunny. Believe in them. But also believe I did that. And he had nothing to do with that. And I don't know where he's at. He's a deadbeat Easter Bunny. Just real life stuff. 
at the crib, mm -hmm. hungry. Yeah. You know what I mean, Sheldon's here. We gotta record something, and I feel bad. Everyone's talking about they're hungry, so I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. how can I get some food here? Oh, right. Jazz owes me a couple food tokens. If you understand what I'm saying, to you. basically what happened was me and Jazz played uh, some iPhone games. We put up a bet of anything on Uber Eats. The loser has to buy the winner whatever food they want. And then me, Shells, Julian, a bunch of us, we played them in Call of Duty, his squad versus our squad, right. medium two topping. We won that. Sheldon, how's the pizza the other night? Good pizza. Yeah? It's delicious. I swear to my family. So I'm, I'm just letting them know right now that I'm putting in the order, but I want to fuse both tickets. Uh, yeah. Yo, let me fuse my cars together, man. I want, I want to take this time to fuse something, you heard? And we're going to do two large pizzas. Uh, Two toppings and two dips and a sprite and tip the man. And my man's want the brownie. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna call with some extra ones. Yo, yo, you can't fuse the you two. Might, he erased it now. You might have to he call erased it. Now. I don't like this one bit. I'm giving him the 941. What time is it? 940. He type in. Send me the street Addy. What y'all want? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yo, I hope it's all right that I put in an unexpected order. Ain't nobody worried about your little order, bro. You know I'm saying? I'm mad at my word, bro. I ain't, I ain't tripping. Two pieces, what? Come on, bro. And the brownie. And the brownie and the, and the Sprite. I got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Say it, but what else you want, nigga? Some napkins, too? Surprise me, man. So That'll wings nice. will be nice if you want to go there. It ain't nothing for me to feed the kids, man. You know? Hey, hey. Oh, you know, I, yo, nah, I ain't even hungry. My man Jazz came through. Everyone clap. Wow. I got four boxes and a Sprite. I'm going to see you on Monday. That's all I got to say. Damn, what's next? Three easy tacos, bro. One carne asada, one beer batter fish taco, and third, a jerk chicken, or should I say jerk bacon? Ain't no telling what Malik about to get into. I'm just down for whatever makes sense at the time. Grab a bowl, we gonna make a marination. You wanna grab a third cup of olive oil, toss in the bowl, take some orange juice, toss in the bowl, white vinegar, toss in there, toss in there, squeeze him out. What are you saying with the juice? It's a bad day to be alive. Grab you some minced garlic, boom, toss in there, jalapeno, cilantro, the smoked paprika, toss him in there, coriander, corn in the house. Grab you some Billy Bob, black pepper, get you a little bit of salt, toss him in there. It ain't gonna look too pretty, but it's gonna taste pretty. Get you your steak ready, bro. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it... Bro, go get my heat. Put that steak right in there, bro. Yum, yum, yum. You, you gotta be ready. It can go down wherever. Let that be an example. Go ahead, grab your mango, diced red onions. Like, come on, she know I like my pinos. Get them pinos in there, man. Pineapples and cilantro. Toss him in there, man. Juice him in there, you know what I say about my lawn. Better juice than not juice, hey? Grab your little pepper, mix him up. Look at that. And don't be afraid to sample test me. <coughs> well, them pinos <laughs> pesky. I told you there's a reason Malik don't do the seeds. We just gonna pack him up, throw him in the fridge. If you wanna talk the talk, you gotta guac the guac, homie. And that's all, bro. Cotto's already mashed up. Get some cilantro, some pinos up in there. You know me down, you know what I say. Red onions, get them in there. Tomatoes, get them in there. Get that garlic in there, man. Looking like a tomato tornado, bro. Grab you some more salt. Time to get juicy. Shout out Christopher Wallace. I'm just gonna add a touch of smoked paprika. Mix him up, mix him down. Now what you gonna wanna do with this slaw? Thin slices is the key. Get you your purple cabbage. You know what I mean? Nice and thin. Shout out Slim Shady one time. Gonna get you your onions, your thinly sliced pinots, your cilantro. It's going all in there. And get that juice all in there. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Grab the honey, bro. Shout out Winnie the Pooh. Get that all in there. Get that honey really in there. We are gonna make a little cream mix. What you gonna wanna do? Scoop. Get your mayo in get there. Get you a lime in here. Cilantro, sliced pinots once again. Get you a little bowl, pack a bowl. Shout out Bob Marley. Get that slaw in there, man. We gonna use some. You got you a creamy, some sort of type of, I ain't even gonna tell you what's in here, bro. But we gonna eat it. Eat it or beat it. You know what I say. And you know Malik gonna beat. 
I got some boiling apple cider over here, bro. My reddish right here. And I'm just gonna let that pour in there. Now approaching the last prep, you know what I'm saying, is the mango salsa. So what I did here was dice some mangoes, dice some red peppers, uh -huh. dice red onions. I'll add me for the OZs. Then you're gonna add your cilantro and jalapenos once again. Grab me one more lime, squeeze them in there. Mango salad done. You can put that in the fridge until everything is ready. Go ahead, grab me some flour, some smoked paprika. Get you some salt, grab some sugar. It's gonna help with the brown in there. And, and, and trust me, it's gonna help. Black pepper, get it in there. Get your taco mix in there. You're gonna head, grab you a beer. I'm using Corona. You're just gonna pour a little bit in at a time and then just whisk him up. Now you don't want this too thick or too, or, or too loose. You know what I'm saying? You want the fish to stick to it. You should have just a little bit of left in your beer can. And that's how you know you did the right amount. So almost a full can, bro. I'm gonna grab my here fish. You're gonna wanna get you yourself a second flour plate just to dip the fish in there right before they go in there. Help everyone just, you know what I mean, huddle in there to huddle in the oil. And then they huddle in the bro Malik. So I got some marinated chicken that I've been marinating for a day now. And this is jerk chicken and this is real simple to do. All you gotta do, bro, is believe in yourself. And this will happen. The steak rising from the dead. We're gonna grab our chicken. It should sound like 40 rattlesnakes. You gonna grab the steak, open him up. You gonna put him on right there. You gonna come back to the fish, back to the main event. You know what I'm saying? Get them nice and coated in that flour right there. Into the batter. This whole fish do for one last swim, and it ain't in water. We gonna straight to the oil, bro. Look at that. Like a bunch of air buds. You going for a golden brown color. Once you got that, you know you ride. Malik is, is drooling, homie, let me tell you that much. The big three. Grab me some of this slaw here, and I'm gonna apply this to all three of them just cause I'm just, I'm just kinda like that. Jerk chicken on that one right there. Watch this, we gonna grab one of these beautiful golden retrievers. Carne asada, watch this. Carne on my sada. Come on, man. That was the mango, let's go pineapple on this one. Yeah. Pineapple salsa right on top yeah. of that jerk chicken. Forget That's it. It's not the bowl slaw, bro. Yeah, bro. Put that on top of that fish right there. Carne asada, moving on. I'm gonna grab my guac right here, put him on top of him like that. My mango salsa, you know where it's going, right on top of him. And then we gonna go ahead and grab some of our cheese right here, put him on top, put him on top. Just like Malik. Just when y'all thought it was over, bro, look what I'm doing to him. Take him just like that. Boom, 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 one on the side. It's time to eat. And now, if y'all don't mind, I'm about to tap in. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the jerk chicken thing. Yeah. Just like that, the leaf taco. <laughs> this is delicious. Boom, so look, all right, Squarespace offers a gang of features that we highly enjoy and a bunch of features that you could probably appreciate too. Let's say you're just a normal guy who doesn't have any website building skills. Perfect, because Squarespace makes it easy for anybody to choose any template and go ham on the customizable settings. While you do have the option to run your own ads on your site, Squarespace does not run ads against your content, so you can be sure that at the bottom of your car wash website, there won't be an ad for uh, like chips or something. You can easily set up your G Suite with your domain to enable personalized emails that will help people realize that this is a cool email and you must be legit and you are legit thanks to squarespace squarespace is blessing the people with a free trial to get moving on your brand spanking new website visit squarespace.com for your free trial and once you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com 4ye to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain Savings.